everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Hadas. I'm a product manager at Stratasys, and I'm here to present to you our new JA26. The JA26 is a multi-material and full-color end-to-end modeling solution for the enterprise world, and it's for an entry-level price. It's designed for designers. Before we dive into the JA26 solution, let's talk about the market and the market challenges. Let's take, for example, a consumer goods or a consumer electronics company. They can be a shoe company or a mobile phone company or a glasses company or a toy company. They live in a world that has more and more globalization and more and more competition entering the market. They have more demands from the consumers to have better products and they need it faster. So they need a solution that will help them to design better products for a shorter lead time. It's a major problem for them. The current solution they have today is modeled with a single material technology. Maybe they do it with CNC, maybe they print it on a low cost FDM solution or any other solution that they do. But usually it's a single material model. But usually our products have more colors and more materials in them. So they need to see the colors and materials in some way. So they do it on the computer or on a paper. They see it in a 2D image. So on one hand, they have the single material model, and in the other hand, they have the picture. And it's very hard to communicate that way the value of the product. It's very hard to do good design decisions that way. But that's the solution they have today. And in the very end of the design uh, uh, process, they actually they have to have the high fidelity model. And they cost so much, they usually order it from a service bureau, probably from the Paris, and they pay a lot of money and wait weeks to get it. And if they have mistakes in the design at that point, it's way too late to do the change. So let's now see how the JA26 solve these major problems and help these designers design better products in less time. So starting from the first phase of the design process, where modeling starts, and we need to do some rough shape to design the shape of the product. With the JA26, we have the draft gray. It's a low price material and it can be printing in a high speed mode. So it's a very easy process, very fast, and the designer can try different shapes and get to the right shape that they want. Now moving on to the next phase where there's more details in the design. So they can, for example, use the multi-material and color to divide the different shapes, to, to, uh, uh, to have the lines separate between different materials and to have more fine detailed design. Then moving on, started to experiment with color. Now they can experiment with color much earlier in the design process and try to see which color is the best and how it fits the physical model much earlier than they could do with their solution they have today. In this way, they can focus on the right material and color and imaging and finish very early in the design process and align the communication, align the company and its counterparts on the right design early, avoid mistakes later on. What they can even do with our clear material and the ultra clear materials is to see the internal of the shape can be very helpful for designers and to, and to engineers to see how everything with the model fits in together. Again, early in the design process and avoid mistakes later on. And eventually approaching the final design, they can do a very accurate design of the product. They can even model the inside and the outside and different, different materials, different colors, different shapes. They can use the Pantone validated colors that we have on our machine and that way to have an aligned and, and streamlined communication that everybody knows exactly how the design should look like and have zero mistakes during the manufacturing process. Now let's go over the main attributes of the JA26. I want to start with the wide application range that it enables our customer to use. We can print seven materials simultaneously. So at the same tray, you can print full color models. You can print transparent to opaque models, the whole range. You can print flexible to rigid models and all of that in the same print. The second thing is the quality. It's the highest quality in the market. You have fine features and you can use different printing modes. 
if you need high quality to high speed. That brings to the third one and it's the speed and productivity. You can have a high speed print and you have a very easy process from pre-printing and post-printing to have the best time to model in the market. And the fourth one is the ease of use. With the pre-process of the grab cut print and the very easy and comfortable send to print, you can easily manage the prints during it, during the print, and you have a very simple post-process with polyjet. Very easy support removal, and if you really want the very high-end look, you can have a simple polish and you have a perfect model. The J826 is the new member of the J8 series family. That is our offering to the enterprise design world. The J826 and the rest of the family are very similar in terms of application range that they offer, in the quality that they offer, in the materials and material pricing, and as well in the DM7, the simultaneous printing that they can offer. They do differ in two different things. The first one is the capacity and productivity. It's a smaller tray size, it doesn't have the super high speed mode. And therefore, it's a better fit to a medium sized company with a medium need. The second difference is the price. It's a much lower price and entry level pricing for the enterprise world and has a better fit to smaller companies. So who should we target with the J826? So number one is a close loss of a J750. If a customer didn't want to buy the J750, it might be a very good fit to the J826 with a lower price point. The second target market for us is the Eden and Connex install base. They are a great target, they know Polyjet, and now they can enjoy the full color and the multi-material that J826 offers with its new materials. The third target market could be a current J750 or an 850 customer that perhaps would like more redundancy or another printer in a different facility and they can enjoy the same capabilities for a lower price point to increase their capacity. And the fourth target market is new markets. It can be in the consumer goods, consumer electronics, automotive, maybe service bureaus or a medical modeling companies or education facilities that we didn't approach before because they're too small and we knew they could not afford our J850. Now is the time to go after them with this new solution that suits their needs. To summarize, the J826 is designed for designers. It provides an end-to-end -end solution throughout the design process. It targets medium enterprise market at an entry-level price point. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.